The Vietgun W100F is a cold milling machine, often used to remove old asphalt from roads, and the real machine weighs around 18 tonnes. This model is in the colours of Borkowski, a specialist contractor in Germany. The model comes in a Vietgun branded box and that includes some photos and some specification details. Inside the box are a couple of expanded polystyrene trays and they're helpfully marked top and bottom. So that does exactly what it says on the tin, except it's not tin, it's expanded polystyrene. The model is nicely wrapped in soft paper and you just need to lift it out carefully, making sure you don't damage any of the more fragile parts. Also included are a couple of wrapped items and these are extra milling drums, which we'll see later. And there's also a bag containing a few spare parts. The review model had one item of very minor damage in the box and that was a little light that had come out. But it's an easy fix and presses back in and in fact that bag includes some spare lights too. Underneath things look impressive and straight away you can see one of the milling drums. But also what's good is that the internal belt is rubber, even though it can't actually be seen in from any other angle. There are three milling drums provided with the model and they're all terrific pieces. They are metal and all of the cutting picks are highlighted with red paint. The rubber crawler tracks are yellow because that's what they're like on the real machine. And they're mounted on tiny track frames which include scrapers. At the rear the details are really nice, the handrails are metal and there's a textured floor surface. And there's also a really good control console in the operator's area. One other interesting, difficult to see detail is that the underside of the roof canopy has a structure. Wirtgen is part of the Wirtgen group and that includes a number of other famous names. Harm is famous for its rollers and Kleeman makes crushers. And Fergler has a wide range of paving machines. Wirtgen has commissioned many high quality scale models and most of them have been reviewed on cranes etc. To see them all, visit the Wirtgen page on the website. The body castings are good because the grills have a deep structure and the panel handles are highlighted with silver paint. Up on top there's a nice exhaust and also mirrors at the front. The conveyor's got a moulded cover which imitates tarpaulin and the support ropes are made of wire. Another nice touch is that the belt inside the conveyor is also made of rubber. Here the Cranes Etc guy is trying to remember what each of those little picks reminds him of. Here comes the Vietgun planer being delivered to the Cranes Etc test site. After being unloaded by a giant hand we can see that the canopy is lowered for transport and can be raised when the machine's at work. At the rear there's a small working platform which can be lowered or raised up out of service. Unsurprisingly the very small rubber tracks can't be persuaded to roll on the test surface and they are actually very stiff although you can persuade them to move with your fingers. The other thing worth noting here is that the four small tiny track frames are all pivoting. It also has the ability to steer and that's achieved by rotating the front crawler pads to the angle that you want. So even though you can't push the model along, it's nice to be able to pose it steering. There is another feature on the crawler tracks and that is that they're all on extendable legs. They just pull down and if you're way too strong you can pull them right out. But it pops back in easy enough and you can set all of the tracks at any height that you want. We're still not done with the crawler tracks because one of them is on a leg which can rotate outwards. So overall the functionality of the crawler tracks is excellent. Another nice feature is that the engine cover opens and it can stay in an open position and underneath you can see the engine. It's not hugely detailed but it's in metal and it's a nice enough feature. This is a milling machine for grinding up road surfaces and the next feature is really excellent because you can open the door and change the milling drums. You have a choice of three different drums and they just pop in and then they can rotate freely. Just imagine if you could fit an electric motor to this you could use it to grind away burnt toast. Or maybe not. At the front of the machine there's the long conveyor arm which pivots from side to side so it can load a truck on either side of the machine. It can be lowered for transport or by carefully pushing in on the hydraulic ram you can raise it up so that it can discharge into a truck. And again this is another very nice feature. 
NZG have produced some excellent models for the Vietcon Group, and this one is no exception. The details are very good and the features are excellent. It also looks very smart in the colours of Borkowski. There's no doubt this is an outstanding model.